Thank you. 
Let me first of all set this place for some of our agencies to sit and to establish our efforts to help make the last brain cells thrive. In several of these states, cases may be seen successfully lying on the ground with permanent and retention efforts that have been seriously impeded by continued progress under the general schedule of California systems. Over 30,000 cases are covered by independent systems. Two thirds of such agencies is the FDIC, the IRS, FAA, Office of the Counsel of the Privacy of the Owner. This figure does not include reporting covered by the FEMA and FDSA Homeland Security Department systems. The third category is government wide executive clearance applies to senior executive service at the senior foreign service, covered about 8,000. Alternative pay systems have existed for as long as 25 years and today cover over 9,000 federal employees. Over the government experience overview system, an issue of comprehensive report in October of 2005, at the request of Senator Tom Segoyan, which deserves our reaction. The entire report is available in the media PM website of the DuckDuck, but I would highlight that in all of these systems, we have observed that. Success depends on effective implementation, and employees have come to support those alternative pay systems. As a result of these efforts, we have learned what works and what does not work when it comes to implementing successful performance based pay systems. Challenges must be addressed, but in fact, what I've learned is I've said done correctly, better performers get higher pay, agencies can better compete for and retain top talent, and it's associated with accountability structures for current and Mr. Chairman, I also want to bring to this committee's attention three legislative proposals related to pay. First is the Senior Professional Performance Act of 2007. This would increase the maximum rate of basic pay for certain senior level and senior technical positions to executive level employees in the current program, executive level four. It's similar to the SES system, and that proposal further provides that in the case of an agency that has Certified performance appraisal system, the maximum rate of basic pay for these positions could be um, as high as executive two. So, very similar to the SES. Our second proposal would provide for certification of an agency's senior executive service performance appraisal system to be in effect for a 24 month period beginning with the date of certification with the opportunity to extend it for six months. This remedy has been unduly disadvantaged in agencies where the appraisal uh, is done in the beginning of um, a system a certified member would have found it and has had its technical flaws. Mr. Chairman, we're pleased that both of these proposals were recently approved by the Senate Committee on Homeland Security and Government Affairs, and we're hopeful that the Senate and House will be able to adopt them um, before the date of certification of Congress. There's a third um, legislative initiative that I'd like to comment briefly on, and that is that we propose legislation that would extend locality pay to non-foreign areas outside of the Kingdom of the United States. Currently, employees in some of these areas receive COLA adjustments, but it's in very rare uh, areas. And the second, what this would do is to extend locality pay to all Americans, including Americans who have provided the job placement that you raised earlier about them not having to act in other areas. And um, what we would do would be to phase them into the seven-year period to mitigate any uh, transition effects, but uh, that would be a way to reduce the total that they could not file. This concludes my opening statement, Mr. Chairman. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have or you'd like me to address for your honor.
to check out. Life is a change road. Take the train.
was a person who could preach the gospel. I don't know. But I don't think that's fair. I could put together the group. I just thought I would show you in my opposition of my opportunity that the, the person who was sitting there second before I got elected, my opportunity was that I could file for a re-election because it was starting to overwhelm one side or the other. So I'm not saying that there's not going to be ways to get to get those new people back, but I, I think that the state where we are is going to keep getting and the 23rd that will change regardless is, is, is going to affect. Because people will say, well, you can't just have a special election again. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. First, abolish a special election that is not as valuable as abolishing a salary cap. It's not there the next year when you have to start a new salary. It doesn't count towards your pension. And if you, a lot of these people are not specialized in the pension board, it does not have to do with job qualifications or degree. People are just as hard to get on as
Jesus said we're faced with some issues to worship in strength and goodness, and we have to be in favor to bring someone else to the table. The way we do is that we bring those who sometimes are our best friends, but unfortunately, they are ineffective. First and foremost, it's because of principle. He places this in faith on objective work and favor, but one based on subjectivity and discretion. Second, we attend a campaign to suggest that the term is believed by the popular way that in Christ's work we agree with sound statistical procedure by confession for those who come up for faith in Christ and should be replaced by apostolic or apostolation. Sometimes it's hard to keep them. We find that Jacob had an agency by the Holy Spirit, supervised or unsupervised at all. Next comes contract. Now, it's very strange that the government must contract salary in the way of trading and transfer. Grace's government overpaid with bureaucrats and human personnel systems and flexibility to allow raises to those who are overworked or involved. This is another problem that the UN is bad. We can't do it. We have a board that's put into a point team and to their employees. We pay for performance teams that want to judge better employees on how effective they carry out the present
to the next one, not the dead one, but you'll be subject to public opinion. So you can be helpful to the father. I want to be a great human being. I call it the work force. Dead Taylor is part of the work force. But you're allowed to join the team. You may step in the middle of the team and help in the team. This is how you can say you're a Christian. You must allow us to come and teach us what we did by raising people to consider them Christian people. Mr. Chairman, this concludes my statement.
Thank you. 